I'll be leading a walk of peace to herald the healing of our land. Let me therefore use this occasion to extend an open invitation to all of our youths, members of the diplomatic corps, civil society groups, students, gentlemen of the press, media, and other stakeholders to join me. I would want for life Palano, popularly called Fals. I would want Debo Adebayo, Mr. Macaroni. I would want an activist lawyer, Mr. Dele Famoruti, Farotimi. I would want him to talk to me. I would want Mr. Shekun Awosonya. I would want Adetong, just Adetong, who draws me every day. I would want the legendary son of Fela Sheonkuti. I would also want the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Akim Udumusu. I want the commander of the RRS, CSP Yinka Egbeyemi, to join me on this historic march for Adbea Lagos. Well, as you can see, the Lagos State Governor Babajide Songolu has initiated a peace walk as part of efforts, according to him, to ensure harmony in the state. He called on entertainers, as you've heard, Sheung Kuti, Falarin Falana, popularly known as Fals, Debo Adebayo, popularly known as Mr. Macaroni, among others, to join in the work. According to him, this would herald the healing of the land in the face of the misinformation and misunderstanding following the recent leak of a report by the Judicial Panel of Inquiries on the NSAS debacle. While well, joining us to discuss this is entertainer and activist Charles Oputa, a.k.a. Charlie Boy. Thank you very much, Mr. Puta, for joining us. Yes, yeah, so thank you for calling me. So it, it's, it's interesting. Uh, the governor's speech, he's saying that this will herald, in his words, the healing of our land. Um, is the peace walk what we need right now uh, in Lagos and in Nigeria? Hey guys. <clears throat> hey. You see us as they look. I never pass. Now many wish with their around, with the pursue, with they disturb everybody. I want to ask you one question. Even though I know, say, you call me to question me. How can we have peace without justice? Is that ever possible? Now you are the ask that question. Can you have peace without justice? After all the report we do, they don't tell us anything. We want to know what happened. Who are the people responsible? Why did it have to happen? They're busy there saying that the report is rubbish. Anybody who won't follow them go mad. No problem. But me, I know that all of this is just simply booboo, playing to the gallery, his master's voice. And I don't want to be a part of all that shenanigan. No, not Charlie Boy. Because my mumu don't do tete, not be today. I'm curious because um, a lot of people have reacted to this peace walk uh, and many of the people who he called have publicly turned down that invitation. But let me ask you, what did you expect when the panel re um, released that report and presented it to the Lagos State government and all of the, you know, the, the speculations that came from uh, the Minister for, for, of Information, um, Mr. Festus K. Amo, um, did you really expect any positivity from this report? Because a lot of people had expressed the fact that they're not sure uh, some level of uncertainty on the part of government to, you know, attack, attack this issue head on and bring justice. But what, did you have a shred of hope that something good would come out of this? No, I wasn't hopeful at all. Why? I knew they were going to do what they know 
how to do. And what exactly and is that? And that is to put back to white. And that is to lie through their nose, through their eyes, through their anus. When it's okay. clear that these people, as insensitive as they come, do they see us? Hell no, they don't see us. It was an, an unfortunate incident that shouldn't have happened. But it did happen. Only in Nigeria. Until date, we are still talking about uh, the report, one thing, one thing. The people who are responsible for this bastardly act, they know they tell us. They are telling us that we wasted a whole year just masturbating ourselves. Is that what they are saying? I'm very, very disappointed with the Lagos government. I thought he had some of this. That was what I was expecting to hear, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that this is what becomes of this treacher, treacherous incident that happened. If they come, they tell us nonsense. Walker, shake it. All right. Um, make, make sure we come for the match. Okay. Um, just. Take it easy, we're on live TV. Uh, let's talk about the peace walk in itself. I know you have said already that you're not going to be part of it, but the healing part of, of, of his statement is where I'm still hook, uh, hooked on. Um, how, yeah. do, how do we get People healing? People are sincere, yeah. genuine, and you can see that they're actually trying to do something for the people. For the people. It's not about them. It's about us. But can I believe anything that is coming from that quarter? No, I can't. Why? I can't. Why? And that is why? Because <laughs> if you check all the injustices that is going on in this country, you will know why. It's an easy answer. The why is an easy answer. You can't go for a peace walk when our enemies are people who are trying to kill us and we're trying to say, okay, we want peace. Of course we want peace. Of course we want an enabling environment so young people can spread their wings and grow. Yes, that's what we deserve. That's what we desire. But are we getting that? No, because the government is not seeing us. It's not seeing the poor people. So we're just going to sweep this under the carpet? What about all the young people that lost their lives? And you're telling, but the government you're telling has, me... The government has said in this white paper that I have with me that it's only one person that has been identified, according to them, to have been killed uh, um, on that day. And he did not necessarily die at the toll gate. This is what the white mm -hmm. paper is stating. So well, what people are getting justice? I would be a fool to believe the government's on ground. I don't believe anything they say. Okay, we all know the kind of government that we have. But I blame us. I blame me. I blame us for allowing this kind of mess to go on for a long time. If it wasn't for the mindset, my chief better pass your teeth. And as long as my own teeth, they for government, it's okay. He can steal all the money he wants. But when is your teeth and I'm not benefiting, that is the time you see me on the road. I mean, how can we make progress with that kind of mindset? But the people who came out for the NSAS protest did not necessarily do that along party lines or ethnicity. We saw a lot of people come together, blurring all of those lines. We saw people praying to different gods. We saw some form of unity of purpose. So I, I'm not in any way trying to discredit what you're saying, but I'm saying Nigerians were tired, young Nigerians were tired, and they came out. But this is the result of that unity of purpose. So why would anybody continue to step up, in your words, against bad governance? I'm saying that was such a nonsensical, useless report. The government can do better because I think they have people that have some sense there. 
unless those people, rats, have eaten their brains out or they're seeing too much money that it doesn't matter to them what happens to us. Now, the fact that young people got their act together in such an organized matter, in such an organized way, I am very proud. The only thing as youths, because that very morning, I sent out a post. I spoke to some of them. I said, we've made our point. Can we just re retreat a bit? Let's go back. Because the enemies we're dealing with are capable of anything. And when I mean anything, I say just anything. Mm. These are demonic people we're dealing with. These are people who shouldn't even be in a position of leadership we're dealing with. But like as I said, it's our fault because we've had almost how many decades of inaction? How many decades of not speaking out? But I trust the young people because I still will tell you any day, any time that the salvation of this country called Nigeria lies in the hands of its exceptional people. And who are those? They are the youth. Nobody, every youth for Nigeria be Mumu. Otherwise, explain to me how when young Nigerians leave the shore of this country, they spread their wings, they blossom, they grow, because they are in an enabling environment. Interesting. That's the difference. And look at look 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 at the rate of brain drain that we have these days. Nobody wants to be here, but me. I know they go anywhere. I know they go anywhere. You see, we all die here. We all die here. Anyhow, they want them. That's what we will do. Okay. Um, before I let you go, quickly. Um, before I ask you, my last question obviously is where do we go from here? But before then, there were several, several reactions by some celebrities on social media. Uh, one that stuck out like a sore thumb was um, Frank Edogo, who seemed to insinuate that um, this this peace walk might be a preamble to opening the toll, reopening the Lekki toll gate. Do you see that happening anytime soon? Is there any truth to that speculation? I know these people. I know these people. I know these people like I know myself. Okay, nothing is going to happen because some people are be benefiting from all this confusion. Benefiting on other people's lives with all this confusion. Okay, and I know what they're good for. I know the government is not going to change till we change our mindset and say enough is enough. And I think this is the time for exceptional youths of this country, the outstanding youths of this country, to get their acts together because the future belongs to them, not all these old people. How do you propose they get their acts together? The last time they did, people were they killed, people were maimed. What's the, what's the incentive? Their acts together. And they have one advantage they have the number, they have the technology, okay, and they get sense. You cannot convince me that people from the 19th century have more sense than people from the 21st century. So they have the young people, it's just that they don't understand, but they're beginning to understand, which is good. We start from somewhere. They're beginning okay. to understand that they have that ultimate power. Okay. All right. Well, I want to say thank you to you, Charles Oputa, uh, also known as Charlie Boy, also known as the Area Father. Thank you very much for speaking with us. We appreciate your thoughts. Thank you for having me. Great. I'm sorry I'm, I'm upset. I mean, I mean, I'm a frustrated Nigerian. Okay. Okay. All right. Because what going on shouldn't go on in the first place. I don't know what they're trying to prove. Okay. All right. Once again, thank you for coming on the show. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you all for staying with us. It's been Plus Politics, and I am Mary Anna Cohn. Don't forget, the future of Nigeria lies with you. Have a good evening.